Another innovative program is underway at the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation in Oklahoma City, and it involves a colorful little fish found in many home aquariums. As Elisa Hines reports, studying the zebrafish could lead to improved treatments for a variety of human ailments. Sleep disorders, eye disease, obesity, all diseases that could be blamed on our genetics. Doctors at the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation just won a $2.6 million grant to study how a very tiny fish could have a huge impact on genetic diseases. Dr. Guara Varshney is an assistant member at OMRF and says they use zebrafish to study human diseases. Zebrafish are a small freshwater fish. They are four to five centimeter long that are used as a model organism for biomedical research. The grant is to study how small genetic variances can affect gene expression, leading to different diseases. So more than 95% genetic variation associated with human diseases are in the non-protein coding regions of DNA. Although the variant's role in disease is known, which gene each one regulates has not been understood. Varshney says there are many advantages to using zebrafish. There is a high degree of genetic conservation. Uh, around eight out of 10 human disease genes have a counterpart in zebrafish. Zebrafish embryos and larvae are transparent, so we can follow their organ development. Now, according to Dr. Linda Thompson, member of the Arthritis and Clinical Immunology Department at OMRF, zebrafish are more cost efficient than mice. When I, my lab was going full, full tilt, it cost me $6,000 a month just for room and board for my mice. So that's $72,000 a year. That's not even doing experiments. That's just room and board for the mice. Um, when you work with zebrafish or a model organism, it's much, much less expensive. And Thompson says the fish also develop faster. Within a, a few days, they go from being, you know, just newly hatched eggs to fully developed. So you can study them in a much shorter period of time and the tissues are accessible. The research is all thanks to Varshney's pioneering work with gene editing. CRISPR-Cas9 is a molecular pair of scissors that's cut DNA in a very precise locations. It has changed the way we can study genetics now CRISPR allows us to manipulate DNA sequences precisely at a specific location. We are going to use CRISPR-Cas9 to precisely make these changes in zebrafish to see how these small changes affect the gene expression and find out what gene is regulating the disease pathogenesis. It's a faster, cheaper way to study genes and find out what makes us sick. For the Oklahoma News Report, I'm Elisa Hines.